Alrighty, what's going on everybody? It is Josh Pocock here, founder of Executive Stride. And in today's video, I am going to give you a quick overview of a tool that I have been using on and off for uh, a long time. All right, I've known about this tool. I've been using it, I think about four or five years ago. Um, and this tool is called Jarvi. Now, if you haven't heard of Jarvi, it's been very popular with, uh, you know, different Instagram growth strategies, social media strategies. We used to use it uh, back in the day when we ran a, uh, when we really were focusing on scaling our, our lead generation strategy on LinkedIn. We used it uh, before we actually, you know, switched over to um, a cloud-based, cloud-based uh, software um, for doing LinkedIn automation and stuff like that. I've, we've used it for scaling, uh, Instagram accounts, you know, doing fo the following on, on following tactic, even doing, uh, direct messaging on Instagram and, and, uh, promoting certain things. We, we, uh, background on me, I used to actually be involved in, uh, you know, I actually ran a, um, what do you call it? A promotion company for, uh, you know, the top nightclubs in Toronto and this and that. I was involved in the nightlife scene. And, you know, I would also use this tool to do Instagram automation for messaging and sending out mass direct messages to different people to say, hey, come to the club, come to the club, da -da 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 -da. come to this club at this night. So it was a very useful tool. Um, there's a lot of different use cases for it, and it is still useful to this day. All right. So I'm just going to give you an overview of this tool, a few different things. I'm not going to cover anything specific um, since there is a lot of different ways you can use this tool, as you can see. So the dashboard just covers, you know, the different tasks that have been done. But um, the main thing, I'll go through the, the tabs here. And then maybe in the future, if you guys are interested, I can make more in-depth videos showing you exact, you know, exact strategies being implemented with this tool. All right. So this is just a fresh account. You know, this is not an account that we've been using. I just created it for the purpose of this tutorial. And if I check out the social profiles tab, this is where you would add your profile. So if I click add profile, you'll see that there's multiple different profiles that you can, you know, select from Facebook, Google plus Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Instagram, YouTube. <clears throat> I don't know what you, I've never used Google plus I've used Facebook. I've used, uh, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, um, haven't used Tumblr, but maybe we'll give it a try. Uh, Instagram, of course, and haven't used YouTube, but maybe, maybe it will be, uh, you know, maybe it, there definitely is some pros probably to using it. I think you can do like auto commenting and this and that, but, um, basically just to give you a kind of idea of how you could use this tool is you could autom Yes, you could automate your own profiles. Um, and if you do ever do any sort of, like, I want to give you a warning, whether you're using Jarvi or uh, any sort of cloud-based software, whatever, this isn't cloud-based, but any software, if you're doing any sort of automation on your own profiles, your personal profiles that have your name, first off, be very, like, I, I honestly, I wouldn't be very wary of it. If you do decide to do it, um, make sure you are within the limits. All right. Don't abuse it. You can potentially do it on certain platforms, but do not abuse it. Um, because you will get banned or permanent banned or whatever. And you don't want to go through all that struggle. Um, we've dealt with situations and we've luckily been able to kind of, uh, not get into, uh, you know, not have to worry about any of that. Or if we did run into issues, we've been able to rectify them, but, you just don't want to deal with the headache. So yeah, like I've automated Instagram with Jarvi as well as LinkedIn um, in the past uh, using a personal uh, account. And I was, you know, just not abusing anything and just trying to keep it as safe as possible. But especially like I've talked about this in a lot of different videos uh, on the channel. If you're not subscribed and, and staying up to date with our daily videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and turn on the post notifications. But I've talked about in the past that all these platforms that you see here, they're getting very, very strict in terms of their organic 
reach and especially when it comes to direct messaging outbound prospecting any sort of automation it's sort of frowned upon so you want to be very weary and you need to do things the right way and you need a specific system and you need to understand the boundaries and how to scale things because it's all a numbers game and with one account you can't really do much you can't hit a high volume if you're running paid ads and you're spending money on ads, you can spend more money and etc. But with organic type things like this, sort of automated prospecting efforts outbound, you need to scale in a, a strategic way and a safe way. All right. It's you want to build your foundation and your structure um, on any like if you're scaling on any platform with multiple accounts, you need to have a specific system for one account to scale it correctly and get results and then duplicate that process. Right. So we won't get into all the nitty gritties on, 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 on all of that stuff today, but that's just something to keep in mind. So you could click on Facebook profile, for example, and basically what I was saying with that is I would recommend buying, you know, different accounts so you can scale multiple accounts. You can leverage like using people, you know, uh, account like team members accounts or friends or family, whatever. But you can also buy specific accounts like uh, aged accounts for any platform pretty much uh maybe we'll cover that in other videos future videos that's stuff that we you know help our clients set all that stuff up and uh you know there's there's a bunch of moving parts when we start to get into that how to do it correctly um to make sure the accounts are are staying good health but anyway so click on add account you can add as as many account well i think with the plans there's a certain number of accounts you can add whatever but Let's just say, you know, I'm adding an account, you know, let's just say uh, this account's name on Facebook is Jason, whatever, Jason S. You can put that name in if you want. You can add tags. Now you can click show proxy settings. So this is what you have to do. The main thing is Jarvi, I believe, costs about 20, 50 bucks a month. Maybe there's a higher tier plan if you're scaling like very, very aggressively with multiple accounts. I think it, there there is maybe, but um you need so that's the price point of the software and then the the other expense is proxies so ideally if you're using social platforms like this you either want residential proxies or um 4g or i don't even know if there's 5g but you want 4g proxies um the specific like phone proxies lte or whatever so you can look into that maybe i'll go into more proxy stuff in other videos but you need to get some proxies you can get them fairly cheap there's certain there's definitely cheaper proxy uh providers than others and there's also quality more quality proxy providers than others so maybe i'll do a video in the future covering covering specific proxy providers and whatnot um and which ones you can use but anyways you get your proxies you put them in you put the ip and then the colon and then port the proxy username the proxy password and then you would click uh and then you would um once you add all that and i think you would click browse uh wait where are we so this is uh, oh i've already added the account so exit yeah so you could, could click browse Oh yeah, so yeah, this is what you do. You can either enter the information here, the login and the password, and you could click verify account and the the uh, Jarvis automation will try to log in. If you're having issues, then click manual login and you can click here and actually manually log in yourself through there. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to do things like scraping Facebook groups, messaging people in Facebook groups. You can automate multiple Facebook account accounts that way. You can do a lot of stuff with, uh, with method messaging friends, removing friends, you know, managing pages. You can pretty much automate almost anything you can really think of when it comes to the, these platforms. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with Facebook, uh, Twitter, same thing, same sort of process to add your accounts. You can at automate following, unfollowing, messaging, direct messaging, um, and probably a bunch of other stuff. Uh, yeah, so there's Twitter. Then there is Pinterest, LinkedIn. So you can LinkedIn. Honestly, I mean, if you're if you're scaling with multiple accounts, yes, you can use the strategy. Um, we 
don't use Jarvi for LinkedIn, at least at the moment. But you could potentially use it. It's it's a low cost strategy. But I would not recommend using it with your personal account. I definitely would not at this point. Um, it just makes no sense. You're just going to run into more issues than you need. So there's LinkedIn. You can do a bunch of automation with that. Tumblr. Haven't tried that out yet, but we'll give it a go probably. And uh, I mean, you can pretty much automate everything on there as well. Instagram. You, the Instagram. A lot of people use it for Instagram. Uh, and Facebook. People started using it for Facebook now. Um, Instagram, you can automate following and unfollowing, direct messaging. Um, there's certain strategies that, you know, you can, you can get into a lot of growth hackers, you know, use it. If you're not that technical, you don't have to worry about all that stuff right now, but there's certain strategies like mother slave tech. Uh, it's called like the mother slave strategies. And, um, there's certain like hierarchies of slave accounts and, uh, you know, mother accounts or whatever. Um, and basically you get like. Say if my name, my Instagram is Josh F. Pocock, you make a bunch of slave accounts, quote unquote slave accounts, um, that are like Josh, uh, a variation of Josh, you know, a variation of your username. And it has, you know, nine pictures on it of, of your thing. And in the bio, it says, um, it, it links towards your actual Instagram, which would be the mother account. So then you automate with the, all the slave accounts to follow a bunch of uh, people within your niche. And uh, and typically they're going to look, see who's who just followed them. They're going to see that your Instagram is tagged in the slave accounts bio. They'll click on it and then they'll probably follow it. Um, or you could like say, follow this account for da 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 So it's basically a bunch of qu fake fan page accounts that are linking towards your, your real account. And it's a strategy to get followers. So there's a little bit of sauce for you guys. Um, if you want more videos on that, I can do them in the future, but, uh, there's, yeah, th there's that strategy for, for Instagram. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with Instagram. Typically you would want like a 4G, 4G proxies for all your accounts and you, any, anything, any type of social pro platform you're doing with multiple accounts, you need to warm up the accounts. So just any type of outreach, email, whatever you need to warm up accounts, five days, seven days, 14 days, a month, whatever. Obviously, the longer the better, but you, you time is of the, the essence. So, you know, at least I'd say seven days, three, four, five days for some, um, you need to warm up. Email, minimum 14 days. All right. And then there's YouTube. So you can, you know, automate similar things, following on, or subscribing, commenting, whatever. Okay. So there's that. So you can see if you go to tools, you'll be able to see a bunch of the things that you can do. So you can automate comments on all these platforms, following, unfollowing, retweeting and pinning. Um, you can accept members to Facebook groups, invite friends, bump certain things, contact members. All right. If we go to global tools. You can... Um, I guess you can do creating multiple accounts using proxies. So you could actually create, I've never done this. We've never done anything like that. You can do story viewers, IG direct messages, IG engagement groups. Um, and then you can change the settings in here. This is one thing you would, would want to go over. Um, if you want me to go over specific settings in the future, uh, I, I can make videos on this, but you want to go over the settings for each platform or whatever they are automating to make sure you're within the limits you right so if you're doing messaging on instagram um you only want to message you know say 10 people a day or 30 people a day whatever there's a certain number you you want to warm up to by the time you're watching this video that number could change so look online on google just google the most up-to-date instagram direct message limits you know how much you can send a day per account and you can do that for any platform, for any sort of uh, metric that you're trying to do on a platform. You can Google what the actual limit is and you want to stay up to date with what the limits are because they're constantly changing a lot. Pretty much they're, all the platforms are lowering the limits and making it harder and harder, restricting stuff. So you need to do everything a certain way or else you're just going to burn through accounts, waste money and waste your time. All right. So settings you can do that and then proxy managers is where you can add your proxies so you can add a bunch of proxies boom 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 then you can connect them to whatever social accounts boom 
Boom. Boom. Okay. Um, then you would click verify proxy. You can add tags. All right. And uh, there's, I mean, you could, for certain things, like you can use multiple proxies for certain accounts. Obviously, if you're using it on different platforms, you can do that. Um, so you can minimize the, the, the cost of buying so many proxies. Um, you could also basically, um, what's the word? Uh, you could, you can sometimes say if I'm running Instagram accounts, you could potentially use like a couple accounts with one proxy. Obviously that's a bit riskier. So, but you, you could potentially do it to, to say, to cut down the cost of, uh, the proxies. All right. So that is pretty much it on a high level. All right. Of Jarvi. Uh, there's a campaigns tab too. So you can actually set up different things for posting, which is pretty cool. Um, adding standard campaign. So you can actually do like a social uh, media, um, you know, distribution. It, you can distribute content using Jarvi as well. So you can automate accounts, distribute, uh, distribute, you know, content. On multiple platforms there's a bunch of stuff you can do with this great tool um this is not like a sponsored video or anything like that i'm just doing a video of a tool that i've known for a long time that i've used here and there not religiously but for a lot of different things and it's you know get it's yielded a great roi for our business and for our accounts and growth and warming up certain things there's a bunch of strategies that you could do with this tool there's really you know, I'll, there's hundred, there's, there's, there's tens of hundred. There's like, you know, there's a lot of strategies basically. Um, we're just touching the surface, you know, really scraping the tip of the iceberg in this video. Um, but you know, we did cover kind of the main strategies on a high level overview. This should give you a brief understanding of kind of what you need to do with this tool, how to use it on a basic level, how to set things up. And I even gave you a few different strategies that you can use for the specific platforms. If you want me to go more in depth with certain things, or if you have questions about certain platforms, you can let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any ideas of videos you would like me to make in the future, please comment down below. Let me know. I appreciate you know, you get the engagement, the support and, uh, and whatnot. If you have any suggestions or feedback and whatever, just, uh, just let me know and make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel cause we upload videos every single day. And if you would like specific growth hacks and a growth plan and a turnkey solution to grow your business, if you're a coach, consultant, course creator, marketing, marketing agency owner, or whatever the case may be, uh, our company Executive Stride specializes in building, um, you know, a custom built uh, plan for you for your for your company to accelerate your stride to the next level, scale to 100k plus per month, uh, using specific growth tactics and uh, certain you know growth teams, hiring growth specialists, a bunch of different stuff. Uh, if you're interested in any of that, click the link, click the link down below executive stride.com forward slash quiz to book a call with either myself or someone from the team. And if you're interested in getting into our free Facebook community and discord, make sure to check out stridecommunity.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description. We post behind the scenes, exclusive trainings, resources, scripts, SOPs, uh, just a bunch of valuable content and sauce that we don't post publicly. We post them in our community. So if you want to join our community, network with a bunch of like-minded individuals and stay up to date with all of the, the tactics and tools that we're implementing in our businesses and our clients' businesses, make sure to check that out below. Check out our other social platforms. And once again, guys, my name is Josh Pocock, founder of Executive Stride. Uh, I thank you for your time and watching this video. And uh, make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we'll also give you some valuable tools to help you accelerate your stride. Take care. Have a great day.